future of data center cooling is an interesting question. I think um, I think well, best place to start is you know why do we cooling a data center in a sense is uh, is um, an overhead that data center operators don't really want to deal with. Yes. Yeah. But it's become more evident now that the heat that's generated by our microelectronic systems has some value. So I think. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talk now about trying to reuse the heat. In fact, we've just heard a panel discussion which probably concentrated a little bit on, on, on using the energy from the thermal energy from data centers. You know, it's a very tricky problem because, as they rightly said, and, uh, and as I think most people know, it's a, a very low grade heat. In fact, it's probably not even a grade of heat uh, when you cool your uh, microelectronics using air. I think we have to look at this in a different way. Um, so I'm a strong believer that, uh, that because heat fluxes are going up in data centers, so we're seeing you know, the next generation processors, 100 watts per square centimeter, that's a megawatt per square meter. Mm -hmm. That's what you see in a nuclear power station. So you know, cooling a nuclear power station, you know, that kind of uh, levels of, uh, of heat generation would make sense to try and capture it in a much better medium than than, uh, than air. So, uh, you know, it was mentioned in the panel today. It's been mentioned for the last 10 years that liquid cooling is coming, but I think, you know, combining liquid cooling with maybe heat reuse in smaller data centers might be, uh, might be the way forward. And smaller data centers may be in urban areas because of this perceptible growth of, of edge that may yeah may eventually occur. So should uh, data centers concentrate on PUE uh, in respect to cooling? Uh, I, think, um, I think from a cooling perspective, PUE is, is a done deal. There's not much more we can do there. I think uh, so using the PUE as a, as a metric of efficiency performance is not really a true efficiency performance of a data center as the whole system. It, yeah. it measures the efficiency, if you like, of your of parts of the data center, like the cooling system, yeah. you know, so how we get the heat out. Um, I think maybe focusing on PUE is now the wrong, th wrong thing to do from the perspective of cooling, but it still has merit in building data centers of the future, yeah, because it does enforce or it does get you to think about the better ways of power distribution and cooling all the time. Yeah. But I think probably the better better way to do it, again going back to what I said earlier, uh, is is to try and reuse the heat if you possibly can. But the problem we have with, with data centers is that uh, you know, the heat is a nuisance. It's not the primary focus. So I think data centers really need to collaborate better with the um, with the energy uh, the energy providers, um, and maybe it's a joint venture rather than, uh, you know, here's your energy, let's have your money. Um, you know, they, they should be, uh, from a, the point of view of, of dealing with uh, global warming and, uh, and other aspects of sustainability, it would be better to collaborate, I think, yeah. And that may not necessarily have to be renewable energy. I mean, it's, uh, if we, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a complex issue, isn't it? You know, balancing the fact that we, we need to maybe in some parts of the world electrify heat because we want to try and get away from burning fossil fuels. And if we do have, if we are getting energy from gas, which has a lower impact, carbon impact than coal, uh, and you know it is providing uh, providing the possibility of heat as well, then I think we should try and look at this as a more combined effect. Mm -hmm. But data centers, a lot of data centers are not really thinking about this holistically, are they? So it's, uh, I mean, it depends who you are. If you're, uh, if you own the whole estate and the IT, you can do quite a lot. If you're, if you're co-locating in a, in a data center, in a co-location data center, you don't have much of a chance at, uh, at, at yes. doing that kind of thing. You're at the mercy of the, the provider, yeah. So I guess in those situations, it's really, we should have a directory of, uh, Who's doing the best in terms of uh, being more energy efficient? You know, and I think we use the word energy efficiency very, very loosely when we don't really know what we mean by energy efficiency. You know, in my view, as an, uh, an engineer, 
energy efficiency, well, efficiency is what you want divided by what you have to pay for. And it's always what you want are the digital services, not the heats, because that's where the money is generated with, through the services. But what you have to pay for is still the kilowatt hour. Um, so when we, I think we have a little bit of way to go to try and get good metrics that help uh, data centers make those decisions uh, as to you know, what is best going for PUE or, or reusing the heat or, re or using renewable energy. Yeah. I think it's never a simple black and white question, black and white answer. Yeah. Yes. Nothing is these days anyway. Yeah. So all of what I've been saying about energy efficiency and trying to reuse the heat, uh, we have a project which is funded by the European Commission to, to look at uh, small data centres that uh, sub one megawatt. Uh, at a way of being as efficient as possi one possibly can be. And we've come up with a, a pilot uh, which is probably valid in northern, northern climates because it, uh, it relies on fresh air, direct fresh air. Uh, and I guess what we've built is a, you know, some people may say that it's difficult to build an open compute style data center uh, at small scale. And I think you could say that this Bowdoin type data center that uh, the project has been funded by the Horizon 2020 uh, uh, funding agency uh, is, um, is essentially a, a, small, a, a small scale open compute style data center. So we are using, you know, we're not using centralized UPS, we're not uh, using, uh, we're using direct air uh, with evaporative function um, and that's obviously the, we, we are using water. Uh, on occasions when we need to humidify uh, and also when in summertime when the challenge of the outside air requires us to humidify or to wet the air to evapor evaporate water into the air. Um, so the, the project is steering in a direction where we are doing a lot of monitoring of the IT estate and all the infrastructure around it. Yeah, so we're concentrating on a, we want to concentrate on, a, on looking at energy efficiency metrics, because PUE, uh, from what I said earlier on, uh, you know, people will argue the case, but uh, it's not really an, an efficiency measure for the whole data center, the IT plus the infrastructure. So we, and because we're monitoring everything, we're trying to look at uh, maybe um, this concept of providing the digital services for the least amount of uh, energy, so to be energy efficient, but also to be cost efficient, because the, the project has been funded as an energy and cost of, cost efficiency project. So it's not about just about you know the the operational expenditure; it's also about the capital expenditure of the whole data center. So the design is is fairly novel, um, but it's based on. Uh, it's, it's similar to, very similar to open compute, mm -hmm. uh, the large scale open compute data centers, because we, you know, we recirculate heat, yeah. uh, we use direct fresh air, yeah. uh, and we, use, uh, we have a small, small use of water. One, one thing, we're missing a trick in the data center industry, we talk about our consumption of energy, mm -hmm. but we don't talk about our, the carbon abatement, so we talk about the greening of ICT, yeah. we don't talk much about the greening by ICT, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean some of the, and a lot of on the program is all about uh, the data center being more energy, energy, energy smart, energy efficient. Uh, but we should really uh, raise the game and say, you know, data centers are actually good and to a certain extent. It depends, you know, whether you're uploading, you know, videos of kittens, you know. They'll, uh, and you get into another debate then about the value of, uh, of what you're doing with a data center. Yeah. But, but there's lots of evidence now that data centers are actually helping to the carbon abatement. Mm -hmm. uh, so for every you know, one megaton CO2 equivalent that data centers are, are injecting into the environment, maybe we're abating, uh, well, we're saving a factor of 10 mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. That, yeah. that kind of conversation is not happening yet, right. but it should be.